let's learn some hammer-ons now. You might be asking yourself, what is a hammer-on and why would I want to use it? Well, it's just an ornament to add expression to a melody note. And it just creates a lot of excitement in solos. So let's get started. All right, this first exercise is gonna be a type of hammer-on that goes from an open note to a closed note. So what we're doing is plucking first string with the middle finger and then hammering down on second fret first string with the other middle finger. So I'm gonna play the whole exercise and then explain it. So the way that this is timed, uh, the open string is on a one beat, and then the hammer-on is on an and. So here's how it would go. One and, two and, three and, four and. Um, so the next one is going index on the second string, and we're hammering down with index on the second string first fret. Okay, then we move down to third string and then pluck that with thumb and hammer on third string, second fret with the middle finger. All right, now we move that stuff down to fourth string, hammer on to second fret, fourth string with middle finger. So I wrote these as just doing those two times and moving on, but you can do it four times. Or you can just bounce around and improvise with it. So have fun with that. And then the next one is, we're gonna be doing a faster hammer on um, but we're going to be using the square roll with a single note pinch. So the roll is going to go thumb index thumb middle on strings three, two, five, one, and then thumb hits third and then pinch. Those last two are quarter notes. And then we're placing the hammer on on the first note of that roll. So it's going to be middle finger, second fret, third string, and it goes. So these are great exercises for building calluses on your left hand and uh, just good for all sorts of stuff. So the next one is going to be just a full square roll, thumb, index, thumb, middle. And on every thumb, we're going to be doing the second fret middle finger hammer on. So it goes. And be sure to be hammering on the tips of your fingers. So uh, just loop that. And then the next one, we move that down to the fourth string. And it's the exact same thing, except we're plucking fourth string with thumb and then hammering on. 2nd fret um, with the middle finger, 4th string. Alright, and then the next one is similar to the first one we did, except now we're going from a closed note, a fretted note, to another fretted note instead of an open note. So here's how this sounds. Okay, so picking first string with middle finger, and I'm doing each one twice. I'm going middle finger on the second fret first string, hammering to the third fret first string, so two times. Then we scoot down to second string, and then same thing, we're plucking with index. 
Basically, each time we shift strings, we're just moving both fingers down, planting with index, and preparing to hammer on. So I'm plucking with thumb on the right hand, and then that's third string, and now down to the fourth string with the thumb. And again, you can improvise and just play around with these. is kind of like got the foggy mountain breakdown sound to it we're doing that same thing that we just did except we're staying on the second string and this hammer on is going to be a little faster it's going to be one and so we're going to be combining the first string open with this so plucking with index I'll just play it for you first So then we're index, pluck second string, and hammer on from two to three, index and middle. Sorry. And then pluck first string open with middle. So you could count that one and two. Alright, so the next one we're going to be combining with a chord, a D7. So this is something that you can use as a lick and it's going to sound like this. So I'm just doing a square roll and looping this. I place my D7 down, the one that we've already done in the tunes, and then we hammer on from middle, open, third string down to the second fret with the middle finger. And just loop those exercises, try to play them with the metronome, um, very slow, and uh, just do it until they're clean and just very punctual sounds. You just want it to be uh, nice and crisp where it cuts through. <laughs> 